comes the field for tonight's first race. Daily double and exact the wagering as Kathy McDonald brings him to the post. One is Loggin, leased by Richard Lindsay, driven by Dean Collins. Two, Wildcat Will, owned by Jane Ferrian, driver change to Jeff Fout. Three, Ike's Last, owned by Marvin Conkright and Sandy Beatty. Four, Rembrandt's Ideal, owned by James Shalloff, David Harris, Rick Heitman will be aboard. Five, Yo Scooter, owned by Robert Imsen with Jim Daly on the bike. Six, Max Sam, owned by Jack McDonald and Terry Thompson, Jr., Seven Arctic Experience, owned by Charles Waldron, driver change to Herbie Brown. Eight is Rhinestone Rocky, owned by Richard and Doug Ryan with Doug Ryan, nine F11, owned by Barry Conrad with Don Feaster. And running out the field will be the 10, Kelly Tuck Chance, owned by Tom Osborne. Mark Winters is in the sulky. Field for the first six minutes till post. First race in behind starter John Betts. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Yo Scooter takes the lead. The nine is off stride. F11 on the far outside, but quickly settles back in the stride. They're down the back stretch. Yo Scooter quickly darts off with a four length lead. Hustling up on the outside. Max Sam second. Wildcat will come in quickly to fill the gap from third. As they make their way to the first turn, Loggin is next. Ike's last parked on the outside. The one, Loggin, is off stride. Going to be a little bit of confusion in behind. The 10 goes on by Kelly Tuck Chant in a quick 27-3. The one is still off stride, racing past the stands to the half-mile pole. And Yo Scooter's got the top. Wildcat Will on his heels in second. Kelly Tuck Chant swings up on the outside. Third, Max Sam is fourth. Rembrandt's ideal tips and rolls underway Arctic experience as they make their way around the clubhouse turn. Along the rail, that's Ike Slash driving up on the outside. Rhinestone Rocky back in stride. F11 still off stride. The gray log in there at the half. 59 and 1. Niner on gate and hub to hub down the back stretch. Yo Scooter trying to make every polo winning one continues to lead the way. Yo Scooter on top, three parts civil length. Kelly Tuck chances the attacker on the outside, second. Wildcat Will fighting back along the rail, third. Sweeping up on the far outside, Rhinestone Rocky to fourth. As they move into three quarters by a half a length, it's Yo Scooter. Yo Scooter has the lead in between horses, Kelly Tuck chance. Rhinestone Rocky driving on the far outside. The program picks got some pace along the rail. Wildcat Will in 129 and one. Field moves to the head of the stretch. Kelly Tuck Chance, Yo Scooter, Wildcat Will looking for the passing lane. Moving up on the far outside, Rembrandt's Ideal racing through the stretch. Kelly Tuck Chance, here's Rembrandt's Ideal at 50 to 1. Kelly Tuck Chance is going to reach. Rembrandt's Ideal second, Wildcat Will third. Here comes the unofficial winner of the first. The result is now official. Winner number 10, Kelly Tuck Chance. Three-year-old bay gelding by Van Kirk out of Kelly Tuck Margie. Owned in Waynesville, Ohio by Tom Osborne. Trained by Daryl Lewis. Driven tonight by Mark Winters to a lifetime best of 159 and 1. Number 10, Kelly Tuck Chance, the winner of tonight's first race. Highway Patrol exact on 10-4, $233.80, 233.80. The try, 21 31 20. Windows are now up and on tonight's second race. Field of 10, no changes. Post time at 7.56.